Hello guys and girls and welcome to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa and here we are with a brand new scenario after the disastrous end to Sifa Green Tea City in the last episode. This scenario is called Overtour and it's by Menno Shoba. Apologies if I butchered the pronunciation of your name but the link will be in the description below. And let's just zoom out a bit and see a couple of the things that are going to make this scenario uh, unique and different. It really stood out to me. First of all, is the map generation. I mean, look at this. This is just nuts, first of all. Let me just put that out there. Yeah, interesting, nuts, something completely different. Well, it gets even better than that. The idea for this map. The uh, goals that we're trying to reach is the only public transport we can use is... Let's fly in down here. There we go. Cable cars. And there we go. Look, we can see cable cars. Whoa. It goes up and down because of the terrain. Cable cars going in between. I tell you what, if I go like that, and then I'll use my camera mod. So there we go. And we can fly around without the terrain bothering us yep cable cars is the only transport we can use the only public transport we can use and we are set growth targets uh, we have a limited amount of weeks and we have a target of how many people are going to be using the cable cars which i think is absolutely unique and fantastic and i quite like the way this world is built up as well so what i'm going to do in a moment i'm going to restart the game from scratch so, you know, all this talking to you doesn't take away the game time that we have to reach our targets. But if we come back out of there, there we go. So that's what we've got at the moment, this one square in there. At the targets that we need to reach is 150,000 people transported using public transport. And if we look over here, um, you lose the game if you have 100 people by bus, by tram, by metro, by ship, by taxi, if you make two blimp stops, two monorails, if you have less than a thousand money, if you have get a loan, or 100 people transported using trains. So we can't use any of those. We've got 300 weeks to hit the target and a population over 15,000. So we've already got 4,000 odd. It's grown a tiny bit while I've been talking, but not much. You can see down here. Um, and people are using the public transports uh, that we have at the moment. But it's going to give us some, um, it's certainly going to give us some problems, some challenges, I should say. Because if we have a look at our starting island here, we have industry, we have commercial. So at the moment, uh, we are allowed, I think it's said in the write-up, that we are allowed to use rail, but only if it had cargo terminals. I'll quickly go and check. Um, how many we've allowed to use of those. I think it was two. Hang on one sec. Yeah, here we go. A couple of notes from the map creator. He says we've got um, our highway uh, connection over here, right over there. There are others, he said, around the map. So it looks like there's probably one over there, one over there, and one over there. So we can expand towards those. Uh, we're not allowed to transport people by the train. So if we have enough money, we could do more cargo. He says you could, if you really tried, get roads between the islands. But that's not really, you know, in the spirit of the map. So we're going to avoid doing that, if at all possible. Um, what else does he say? Yeah, filling all the islands could be nice. But obviously, we're going to need services. So every time we use an island... Oh, auto save kicking in. Every time we, we start building on an island, they're going to need all the different services, aren't they? So the healthcare, the police, the fire, and all that sort of thing. And if we don't have a road between them, this island over here won't share the services that are on this island. So that's something to keep in mind. Because immediately, you're, if you're going to start a new island, you've got to spend at least... What's that? Four grand? Uh, 14 grand? One of these as well? Yeah, another eight grand... Another 12 grand. You see where I'm going with this on every single one. So if you're going to set up a new island, that's a big expense before you've even started. And he also mentioned about the use of footpaths. He said they will bring people to their destinations, use them a lot. So whether we can connect islands with footpaths, we could do. But then we're missing the traffic that cable cars will bring. So what I'm sort of thinking as a plan looking ahead is, I mean, we can expand down here. Look, I mean, we've got all this sort of space down here. That connects to the road that's going out. So that will help our services. And also there's the train that comes along here as well. I reckon this island here in the middle is going to mainly hold our 
shops and our industry this is where we want people to come to work and in the ones around the outside if we pick like a couple of big islands to expand to then we can say for instance this island here I mean, that's not very big is it and then something like that will have to have on it all the different services and we'll keep it all residential and then cable car them back to here so they'll have to come over here to work and that'll keep up the traveling of people backwards and forwards that's the plan that's the plan so what i'm going to do is i'm going to load this map up from the beginning because already some game in-game weeks have gone past and oh we've only got one square to start with we've got money so we can expand around i'm thinking maybe over here first this is the first big island we can get easily there or there we've got quite a lot although we've got this little one in between yeah i reckon down here and then we'll start building Okay, here we go. We've started the map off. So the first thing I like to do in a scenario like this is try and save ourselves some money. So let us have a look at our budget. Unfortunately, some of the mods I normally use just don't work for some reason on this scenario. I've no idea why, but there we go. So electricity, we have plenty of that. So I reckon we could drop this down to 85%. Any money we can save is definitely worth doing. Uh, water availability is okay, so we'll leave that as it is. Yep, there we go. Um, trash, I'm not going to mess with any of these schools. Let's just have a look at our schools. So we could do with high school, elementary school, we could do some more in those. And that is down quite low. So I'm going to put that up to 90% for now. Uh, all of these I'm going to leave. Road, train, well, all of these we're not going to use. I mean, they're zero anyway, but just for my peace of mind, all of these are going to go down to nothing because we're not going to use them and there's going to be no money. So there we go. Cable cars are maxed out, which is costing us quite a bit of money. But then, how many cable car carriages are available in the city? I mean, that uh, initially says to me yes we need that up high but if we actually just check out some cable cars so we can see how many people are in them see some of these have none because there's nothing much to travel to over here um and there's a connection over here let's have a look see this one here will be transporting a lot of people it's hard to move around in this map yeah 22 1 how many has that one got? Eight. So not as many as you think. Okay, until we branch out, I'm going to drop that down to just 100%. Because I don't think we need it maxed out just yet. Everything else we'll leave as it is. So, let's see. We need to grow our population up to 15,000. Now, it's going to be harder to grow population uh, because of the road connection. Oh, I can't go over there, can I? I use this camera because of the road connection we've got over there people are going to trickle in slowly but i think eventually this section here is going to be is going to be all of our industry so i'm going to buy this square and this square so we've got this nice big island down here yep that's what i want let's come out of that so we can now build in all of here and these could have residential they won't get services though that's the only thing i'm sort of worried about is how that's going to work because i bet if we look on this island oh wasn't there somebody here that was yeah that one's full up yeah let's get that going so what have we got on here so we've got trash see that's got trash by itself they both got health care yeah there and there They've both got fire. Oh, here we go. The only form of public transport is allowed cable cars, no buses, trains. Freight trains are allowed. There we go. I knew it was going to say somewhere. I wasn't going mad. Yeah, they've both got their own fire. They've both got their own schools. So I'll tell you what we want to do is we want to max out how many people are on here as much as possible to use the services that we've got. So if I could just sort of maybe add a little bit of extra road just around here. In fact, could we join that up? Yeah, we may as well. There we go. Uh, let's get some of these on there. There we go. All of the rest of this is filled in, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, what have we got here? We've got a skate park. Okay, nice. Oh, something we can do to bring in some more money. If we look at our policies. Parks and Recreation. <coughs> 
Excuse me. Yeah, increase land value around parks and plazas. That is good. And I believe as well, high-tech housing turns homes into much cooler smart homes to raise the land value. Slightly increase land value. Upkeep. Mm, I'm not going to go for that one. What else have we got on here? Encourage biking. We've also got free public transport. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, so they'll use the public transport anyway. So that's fine. We're going to go with that. And we live in Lakedale. Got a good idea for a name? Stick it in the comments below. There we go. We've got some new houses moving in. And all of these are high density anyway. Oh, there we go. One there, one there. Yeah. Let's get that going. Uh, around here, we're going to have the negative effect of this thing. How far does that reach? So up to there. So we could put some more housing in along here. I wouldn't normally build right on the edge of a cliff, but... Yeah, there we go. Now they've got to travel all the way across here to get there. We do have residential up the top here. Is there anything we could max out in here? This looks like it's all covered already. And it's all high density. Some of these guys... Oh, I don't have the auto-delete mod on either because I want to see what's going on. Okay, let's get some more people. Let's build over here. So what I'm thinking is... If we take a curved road... Oh, big city. There we go. 4,200. Hang on. I'm going to pause and do that again. That didn't work out the way I wanted it at all. Let's just pause. Let's take this. Okay, so I want that right to the edge. We're not going for prettiness too much. I mean, we'll get some, obviously, but there we go. So we can do that. Then down here, we could have a road that sort of swings around like this. I just want to make as much use of this space as possible. And I'm building in roads in pause mode because if you have to delete, then it doesn't cost you any money. So that's good. Um, yeah, let's maybe go around here. And then we're going to fill this with services and try and get... There we go, that's good. And get a load of people moved in. Should we just do that bit first or should we... Yeah, let's do this bit first. And then we've got a little bit of road here. So I reckon if we do something like that. Yeah, there we go. And then also we can have a secondary road off of here. Down to there, that side. And then along here. Yeah, we've almost made good use of all the space. Yeah, wiggly, wiggly road. And then we'll connect that up to there. There we go. And they can get through there. Good. Now, water pipes. And then we'll join those two up. Yeah, there we go. So all of that's going to get water. Power. Hmm. So how are we doing power around here? So we've got those giving us power. Which at the minute, we've got electricity available. Can I turn that off? Oh, okay. The whiteness mod isn't working either. That's weird. I don't know why. So we're going to go across to there. <laughs> that's going to look weird, isn't it? Has this got its own power? Yeah, these have got their own power. And these have got their own power. I want to hook the power together because I bet there's a lot of power being wasted. Those three on there. Let's get the power in one big grid. So if we go across to there. And then across to there. There we go. And now we're going to spend an absolute ton of money on services. So we are going to have another road running up this way. Oh, a bit croaky today. Um, and this is going to stop us building in an area. I mean, if we could have that right on the edge and hopefully try not to affect anything else, that would be good. But we can't build it along there. Um, can that road go any further? We've stopped it there, but we could actually go along there. Could we fit it in here somewhere? I'm trying to not do landscaping either because I think that's sort of cheating the system a bit. Yeah, let's go there. Oh, we haven't connected up these two rows, have we? Oh, man, how are we going to do that down the mountain? Um, Yes, again, not doing lots of landscaping. I don't think that's within the idea of the map. Otherwise, you could really... Oh, here we go. Look, we go down the mountainside. You could really sort of change things and cheat the system, couldn't you, if you did that? So let's not do any landscaping. Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, I think that looks quite cool. We're going to go with that. Right, so let's put in a medical clinic to hopefully try and cover as much of this all as possible. 
I'm reckoning maybe just in the middle here, and that can just do the whole island. So if we go like that, like that, like that. Schools we're going to need. I'm just going to nestle them down here. There we go. Buses. No, I'm only kidding. Buses not going to... By the way, I've got the Mars soundtrack on. Official Mars soundtrack. Why not? We want some parks. So that's got a nice big coverage. So that'll cover all of that up there. And then I'm going to put this one in there. There we go. And we've got a nice need for stuff. So let's start over here filling these in. There we go. By the way, if you see me stopping the game at any point, it's because I'm doing some manual saves. I recorded a load of this yesterday. And uh, let's speed things up a bit, see if some people will move in. And the game crashed, which was really annoying. There we go, people are moving in. Messed up my recording. And uh, didn't save the game. So a couple of points, I'm going to stop and do a manual save. Just to make sure things work okay. There we go, that's growing nicely. That's what we want to see. And I want electricity to spread down to these guys, which might take a while. So I'm going to put that down to there for now until it spreads around enough. In fact, if we just put some of that in there, I don't think that will spread necessarily up the cliff. What are we? Oh, we're growing 29,000. Yep, good, good, good. So basically for work and for shopping, these guys are going to have to travel all the way back to there. Let's just take a quick look over here. We've had a lot of places that have shut down, have they? Due to lack of people. No, they've opened up again. Excellent. So eventually, I reckon all these ones will be removed. So this will all be industry. Although we've got a lot of space, haven't we, to, to fill up with industry. So I don't think we'll destroy anything. There we go. We do need some more shops and things, though. So let's see if we can expand our commercial shopping area. And there is a nice... Oh, we haven't got cable cars over here. How, how the heck are they going to get backwards and forwards? We have the cable car. Yes, the cable car comes up to here but doesn't have a stop. Good job I noticed that. Let's put in a cable car. I'm not going to put a, I'm not going to put an end stop. I'm going to put a stop so we can carry on to other places. And also, that's going to have to go sideways. So this poor house here is going to get destroyed. So if we come out like that and then pop it in like oh it's just like on the edge of the map darn it let's do that again if we come out here like that uh, delete that there we go and we can connect to there oh, invalid shape seriously we delete come on delete that one and then go from there to there Slope too steep. What? Okay, this cable car is like in a weird spot, isn't it? Let's delete that one and go from there to there. Space already occupied. Oh, <laughs> for goodness sake. Space already occupied by what? I should be able to get across there. Okay, let me delete this one. And go from there... All the way along to here. There we go. Excellent. And maybe I did something wrong there, but whatever. It's working. We've got that connected. So that is another... Oh, man. The going up and down with the islands here thing is a bit weird. I'm trying to use my other camera view. I've got the first person camera mod. There we go. So they will now connect to that. Is there any cable cars going to be coming over? Yeah, there we go. So these people can travel backwards and forwards. And then what I'm going to do as well... If you want it easy for anybody down here to get up there. Oh, houses are coming in. We've also got, look, French houses appearing. This is from my last playthrough, Sipper Green Tea City. You may have seen that. Oh, how's the power doing? Is it not getting there? It's just not getting in there, is it? Let's add that in. There we go. There we go. Yeah, Sipper Green Tea City. Uh, we had a French district, but it's put the French houses in... <laughs> my normal theme, which is very weird. 
Anyway, I'm not going to worry about that too much. We need a path down here for these guys and girls to get from this area up to here instead of walking all the way around the road. So let's add that in. We're going to use a concrete path and see if we can have a wiggly path up here. I don't know whether this is going to work or not. But let's give it a go. So if we start there. What's going on there? Is that a tunnel it's made? Or what's, I don't know what's happened there. And then curve it round. Woohoo! What's it done? Oh my goodness me. What kind of, <laughs> what kind of a path is that? We can't use a path like that. Hang on a second. Look. I know, I know we're trying to break the laws of physics sometimes. But that, that's just ridiculous. There to there to there there we go oh man imagine walking down that path flipping heck that'd be like the fight of your life wouldn't it come on children time to go to school but mummy <laughs> ah don't get too near the side now <laughs> excellent so that's good so people can come up and down and get themselves to work and school or well, get themselves to school and stuff down here Good, good, good. So we'll leave that growing, hopefully. We've got people moving in. We're still making of the money, which is what we need. Let's just check our... Ah, oh, okay. Let's just check some of these things. We want to make sure we don't run out of anything. And water is okay. We'll pop that up a bit. Let's go 75. Just to make sure we don't run out on anything there. Good. So let's increase our shops. We're going to need some more shops over here in our shopping area. So let's put those back on. How should we do this? We've got the cable car stop there, which is nice. Um, I mean, we could just fill up that to start with. We could try and go. Oh, here we go. Also save as well. Excellent. Could try and go for some large shops along here. Let's do that. So if we break out of here, away from the junction, and go straight across up to there, and then sort of fill in this bit. Again, trying to use all the space that we've got. Let's go up to there, and let's go up to there. That goes a oh, slope too steep. I wanted another road in there, but it's not going to let me. So maybe we'll go this way instead. Let's hook up to that. Oh, that's better. All the way to the end. And we can go like that. Yep. Any other little spots? We could maybe do a bit there. Yep. And it'll slightly flatten out the terrain. That's good. Right, let's check. Water. Um, let's just have a quick look at... Land value is really high there. What am I looking for? Parks. Let's look at it this way. There's no parks or anything in this area. So let's pop something down here. I mean, we could get people to come and visit down here. If we stuck a botanical garden in the middle of this, it would look cool. Plus, people would want to come and visit as well. Yeah, tourism and visitors, money-making stuff. And then I reckon we can put high-density commercial all around here. And this will go well. Let's have a look how many people are going to... How many shops are going to build in here there we go excellent flying up and we've got a path connection down there could i add one down here oh i like that i like that everybody moving in if we add oh, it's not hooking on properly oh there we go it wants to do that yeah okay that's fine just so people can get down here if they want to and then they can walk around all of this and we might just put a path connection here there we go. Just to make it easier. Yay. Nice. That's filling up nicely. Population 4,500. I mean, to get some more squares, we can we can buy another square. Uh, oh, yeah. We've got a new area because we hit that. Our next target is 5,500. How's our island going over here? Nice. Well, we can fill in a little bit more of this with some more high-density stuff. I'm sort of trying to spread out from where I know the electricity is, which is here. Good, good, good. How are the schools faring? 147 out of 243. Yep, so they're doing okay. What about the schools over here? So there's that one and there's that one. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. And then on this island, 
Let's have a look. There's that one. And we don't have a high school on here. Well, they'll probably travel for that, won't they? Yep, yeah, so that's okay. Nice. Any complaints? So you're saying not enough people, but let's be honest. There's tons of people now should be coming over. And where do they go? So they come across here on the cable car. They stop there or they stop over here. I'm wondering if we could... Because then they've got to walk. They'd have to get off there and walk down there into the industry. Wondering whether we could add another cable car stop that branches off. Oh, we can't do that, can we? You can't have, like, junctions. Oh, there we go. Look, someone's gone out of business. You can't have cable car junctions in the middle of a... No. Oh, more moving in. Yay! Excellent. I like these buildings. All the things, Superstore. <laughs> very cool, very cool. So I suppose we've got to rely on them walking down. So, you know, that's not too bad. Let's take a look. How are we doing so far on our goals? So 17 weeks. 21,000 already. That's fantastic. And we're creeping up towards our targets. I mean, it says we could do with a teeny tiny bit more industry. So I reckon... Although it says that, but we've got these places saying... I mean, they are saying not enough people. Not enough workers. So I'll tell you what it is. is there, we don't think we've got a university, have we? We do. Ah, I bet there's people going to university instead of working. And we've got a huge university. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Well, that's okay. I don't mind that. But what we really want to do is encourage as many people to move in as possible. And it is filling up nicely. Look. Let's put some paths in over here as well to help people walk around. So, we turn that off and put that flat. We could squeeze one through there. And then they've only got to walk up to there to connect to that. Yep, that's good. And then anybody that moves in over here has still got a long way around to walk. No, okay. I'm not going to be able to put one in there. Oh, more people moving in. More needs. Good, good, good. Let's fill all of these up. Get as many in this, this island. We want it as full as possible. There's some more spaces we could use along here. I mean, if we put a... Uh, even if the road's right on the edge, we're going to make use of that extra space. Try and lose as little as possible. There we go. So now we've got all of that. There we go. Let's just do that. Water. Yeah, all covered. Let's fill up this one. All along here. And then we'll get the electricity to the park. So the benefit of that will kick in as well. Although our land value is probably, yeah, pretty high anyway. Because it's all by... Oh, actually, no, that's the middle, isn't it? This is the high. The green. So what's making that higher than anything else? Probably the university. Well, we're still making lots of money, so... Can't complain. And we need more. We need more shops. Oh, you've got no water? Oh, okay. Well, sorry about that. Let's, let's fix that for you. More shops. Let us use this little spot in here. Oh, that's like a national road there. I didn't notice that. Let's see if we can maximise this space. So we'll go to there. Almost got enough water. Let's cover that. And let's put some nice big commercial stuff in the middle of this as well. That'll be a nice little pocket. When it grows up. Come on, you said there's some needs. Grow. You said there's lots of needs. Still grow. Oh, look at all the people walking down here they really do like these pathways don't they oh there we go things are moving in so i'm wondering now whether we should check again how many people are coming across in these cable cars so let us grab let's pause a sec so seven in that one that one's going over yeah so that's got six is that that one there that's got ten nine yeah so we don't need seven we don't need to fill up our cable cars uh let's just have a look i want to go that mode and i want to come in from this way and have a look so there are quite a few people waiting there oh auto save yeah i think so let's just glance inside can't glance inside let's go down 
Yeah, they're just leaving. So there's not too many waiting. So as long as we've got that covered, we're okay. Still more commercial need. Wow. Okay, let's get... Yeah, that's filling up nicely. Okay, maybe we could fill up some of this along here as well. With some more commercial. And I, I tell you what, we will keep expanding in the next episode tomorrow. So if you're enjoying this, leave a like. Hit the big B with a T stain to subscribe so you don't miss out. And any hints and tips you've got, let me know in the comments below. Where, so we want to try and do it within the spirit of the game as well. So we're not going to build roads to every island and all that sort of thing. But I'm enjoying this. I think this is a, a nice, interesting challenge. I hope you're enjoying it too. And I will see you tomorrow. If you haven't seen my disastrous finale of Sipper Green Tea City, that will be on the screen you can go and check that out and i will see you tomorrow take care bye bye